Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with some news. Buzzle has been banned from the UU tier. If you guys didn't know, uh, during the, uh, the last tier changes, Buzzle and Zerkatree actually fell down to the UU tier. And um, Buzzle definitely had a big impact on the tier, being a great offensive check just naturally to so many Pokemon in the tier. Uh, Mamoswine is one big one. Also being able to pretty much sub and break through uh, most of its quote-unquote reliable answers. So Buzzle has been banned by an 8-4 majority. Uh, if you guys also didn't know, the way the UU Council does it was actually the Coco Loco system, which is they test in a Pokemon at a time and then for like maybe uh, a certain period of time and then the council decides uh, based on vote whether or not the uh, Pokemon itself is broken and they actually recently had one with Buzzle, Latias, and Zerkatree. Buzzle ended up being the only one banned whereas Zerkatree uh, ended up being tied on a 6-6 vote. I'll actually talk about that uh, in a bit but the fact that Buzzle is gone is really 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 good for Pokemon such as Mamoswine and also Weavile which has been recently introduced into the tier uh, in Yu Yu, because uh, Weavile has it does have answers: uh, Mega Steelix, Fortress, Conkleder, Scizors, Mock Punch, uh, Scizors, Bullet Punch, Conkleder's Mock Punch, uh, Mega Blastoise can get a hit, things like that. Mamoswine though definitely uh, lost uh, a switch in right here. Buzzle is probably one of its best switch ins, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, not really fearing Ice Girl Crash uh, at best. It needs to flinch to beat you. Whereas Buzzwool was so good at doing what it did. I actually love that it was such a great mod in the tier. Uh, sub Focus Punch, All Out Pummeling was my favorite set with Leech Life. And then either Ice Punch or Poison Jab. Ice Punch was really nice because it actually could beat through defensive cores with like Gliscor. Um, also hitting Aerodactyl and whatnot. If you didn't want to go Focus Punch, if you weren't behind a sub. Uh, but it was really cool because it could really sub up on a lot of things like Blissey. I'm actually looking at the UU tier list right now. Uh, Absol to an extent. And uh, being able... Sub pretty much ensured like a second kill, basically. Uh, as well as the fact that obviously it's sub was... It, just being naturally Buzzwell, it wasn't broken by the likes of Swampert's... Um, or it can actually check Swampert, it can actually check Terrakion, could also naturally check Cobalion if it wasn't like plus two, uh, Steelium Z, and even then uh, could potentially, as well as Zygarde and Scizor, so a really great Mon that could actually sell up on a lot, and ended up being bent. Um, so again, that does open up the door for what I want to say, uh, Weavile and Mamoswine, but those were already top tier threats anyway. Now Zerg Tree ended up not being banned and remains in the U tier, and uh, I'm actually really, I actually really love this mod in you, and I do also find it uh, relatively annoying to deal with. Uh, you do have to run a Scarfer that's faster than 291 speed, but that isn't that hard, to be honest. It doesn't really change much team composition, in my opinion. Uh, Crocodile, Hydreigon, some of the most valid Scarfers in the tier. It also has Checks and Aerodactyl, who naturally outspeeds the Scarf set. I'm talking, and I'm saying Scarf, mainly for Z of Gnosis, which does give it the plus one speed. I think the Thunder, I, I honestly think the uh, Tail Glow three attacks with Gigavolt Havoc slash Sugarberry is one of its better set. I actually like Gigavolt Havoc a lot more because at plus three, Thunderbolt can actually knock out something like Blissey 100% after South Rock damage. So really cool for Zerker Tree. Uh, and I'm excited to see how the tier changes with Buzzwell being gone. Um, Berserker definitely does have some other uh, and, uh, checks. Uh, Mega Steelix, just to name a few. Uh, Blissey, whatnot. And Buzzwell definitely had some answers as well. Uh, if you actually go down to the thread, um, Hikari decides to actually answer a few things. Um, because P2 talks about how Weavile is in the tier, and one of its most splashable answers was definitely Buzzwell, which is definitely not wrong. Um, Buzzwell actually. <laughs> I mean, I used a couple of them in my videos, but it actually made stuff like Z-Pek Mamoswine and z Ace Weavile a legitimate option, though I think Life Orb Band are way better. Uh, but if you actually look at Akari, um, if you actually look at Akari's post, because I think this is really interesting, because uh, P2 brought up that, was it smart to uh, ban... Uh, was it was it smart to bring in Weavile when one of its best answers was banned? 
And Ikari talked about how uh, being banned, we've all getting unbanned has nothing to do with Buzzle being in the tier. Buzzle dropping was one of the many reasons why we decided to rete uh, retest Weva. We already talked about the possibility of voting on Buzzle again halfway through the suspect. And that's something I did want to mention. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned it earlier, but uh, you, you will actually be changing back to the public voting system, which is the way that we all do it. You ladder and you do this and that and you get your wrecks and whatnot. But there are some great Weva checks in the tier. And he mentions Mega Blastoise. Cream Arena avoids a 2-A-K-O from anything but Poison Jab. And I, I did already mention Conkleder, Scizor. Steelix, Mega Pert, uh, Clef, he can check it, Squeakoon, Sylveon, and he also mentioned Fortress, which I said. So, yeah, there are definitely um, there are definitely some checks to Weavile, but I'm still really excited to be using it. I feel like a well played Weavile would be great, but it is really tough to get that Mon in. Uh, besides being naturally, you know, frail, it's also weak to rock, so it already takes naturally 25% from coming in. And then Revenge Killers, like, uh, Terrakion, Aerodactyl, Bullet Punch, Metagross, all those mods can check Weave out. But yeah, Buzzwell was banned from the UU tier. I do want to know the thoughts, of course, you can leave them down below. I'm a little bit more excited for offense to be a little bit better. Um, and what I mean by that is mainly when I was building a team in UU or when I was using a team, I uh, if Buzzwell came in, and then, granted that could also be poor team building on my part, but if Buzzwell came in, uh, it was easily able to sell up on most things I would force either damage on my Togekiss. Like, I would go Togekiss. Togekiss could take one Ice Punch or one Poison Jab. Uh, one time I actually got rocked by uh, a Z Poison Jab, but Togekiss can take one. Air Slash, break the sub, and then I'm forced to Roost, whereas Buzzwell gets like two turns of Leftovers Recovery Fit is Sub, Focus Punch with Leftovers, or if it's all up Pummeling. Um, and of course, that's just not saying that Sub, all up Pummeling wasn't its only set. Uh, Ban, Scarf, Roost with like Lunge. Uh, I've seen a few of those as well. Uh, but it definitely pressured teams uh, especially when you're in UU with a whole bunch of threats like Pidgeot for example I find Pidgeot to be one of the most busted mods in the tier uh, and I, I'm, of course I'm assuming that Mega Pidgeot was not banned yet yes it's still right here um, just switching into that mod but I'm really excited uh, to see how balanced teams will be built now uh, I'm also really excited to use stuff like Weavile, whether it be Life Orb or uh, SD. SD is something I want to mess around with, but of course, setting up with SD is going to be really tough. But again, I do want to know your thoughts. Um, the fact that Zerkatree stayed, though it was so close at 6-6, six, six, really means something. So I'm assuming that uh, Zerkatree will, because it was a 50-50, Zerkatree will be eventually retested. A lot of us was also tested, but it remained unbanned. Uh, at 11 and 1, and that makes sense. I mean, Lottie definitely doesn't have his checks. There are, um, again, Steelix, there's faster uh, Pokemon that can check it, such as uh, Sceptile. Cluffy there can take a hit. Uh, even Pokemon like Empoleon, which are so common. A minus 2 Lottie is set up for Cobalion. I think like that. And Lottie's just necessary. Like, it's not, it's not like super strong as its brother Latios. And even like offensive Steel Tanks like Metagross can check it and take a hit. Uh, Primarina, Scizor being uh, probably going to rise back up in usage again because it actually saw a little bit yes, less usage because of uh, Buzzle. But with Buzzle being gone, and the reason I say that is because Buzzle could easily get up a sub, and sub was not broken by Scizor's bullet punch. So now Scizor usually rise up again, though. Of course, Mega Pert, I can't wait to use I love this mod. Uh, Mega Pert definitely not staying UU, by the way. Next time the tier changes happen, Mega Pert going right back up to OU alongside Pelipper. They have been spammed a lot in the tier, and they fell down based on usage, but they will be going back up to the tier. But I'm really excited to use, uh, to use Zerkatree more, and of course Weavile. Uh, but like I was saying about Latias, like it was pretty cool because if you were actually running Z Draco, uh, Crocodile could not revenge kill you with knockoff. Like if Scarf Crocodile came in, they could knock you out with knockoff, and you did knock them out with Z Draco, so that's really cool. But I do feel that Latias is actually pretty, or relatively healthy for the tier, being able to naturally check uh, bulky waters and whatnot. And it's not like, it's not like it's, it's so... It's so hard, it's overpowered. I mean, you have Weavile to uh, pursue it. You have Togekiss, which is taking a hit. Sylveon. Like, the tier itself has so many answers to Lottie. And even though I'm a lover of Latias, and I would love for it to be OU, but that's just based on bias. That's not based on usage. I understand that it's great in this tier. Uh, Combine is really fun to use. And then even as a Healing Wish supporter as well. But it definitely does have his checks. But like I said, I do want to your thoughts on the fact that Buzzwell has been banned. Uh, I know some people will be like, oh man, well this was a tier that was shined in. Now it's going to go back to OU and barely seeing usage, which might necessarily be true. 
Uh, but Buzzwell, if, if Pokemon is banned from UU, it doesn't actually go up to OU, it becomes BL. And BL is UU's ban list. And basically, to explain what BL is for people that might understand, basically, I said basically like four times there. But if a Pokemon is banned from UU but does not have the usage to be OU, it is placed in BL. And BL is the ban list. And what BL is, is basically, oh my god, it's basically, oh my god, I keep using that word. You cannot use that Pokemon in UU and below, but you can use it in OU, but it is not OU. And BL has a ton of Pokemon. And the way the UU was doing it is, was they were testing in Pokemon. Uh, like, let's say they were testing Alakazam for a certain period of time, the side was broken, ban it. Testing Azumarill for a certain period of time, the side was broken, ban it. I love how UU, uh, BL is actually becoming like, <laughs> it's actually getting a lot of mons. Uh, but yeah, a lot of Pokemon are also BL uh, just because some Pokemon in OU invalidate it. So, for example, Tornado's Theory and Form will rise up if Greninja gets banned, uh, just because Protean invalidates Tornadus a little bit. Uh, Starmie will rise up to OU, Greninja gets banned, Mega Slowbro, what up? I, uh, I said what up, I don't know why I said what up. But those Pokemon will definitely rise up. But yeah, like I said, I don't have any thoughts on the Buzzwell ban, as well as Zerkachi staying, as well as Latias, I suppose. And then, what are your thoughts on Weavile being in the tier? Um, what are your thoughts on Weavile being in the tier... Now that Buzzle has been banned. Of course, you can leave them down below. I'll leave this thread as well. Uh, down below as well. <laughs> yeah, I keep repeating myself. My bad, guys. Uh, but if, if you've been following me for a while, you know I always do this. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.